Hello. Hey, everyone. How are you? Oh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little bit squeaky. <laughs> How is everyone doing? It is so windy and rainy and cold. <laughs> so I'm glad that I am not going anywhere tonight and I'm just staying in and chatting to you guys. But I did order something to eat that was supposed to be here like 40 minutes ago. So I might have to run really quickly downstairs if they wrap on my door. Normally they'll just like open the door and put it there. But um, just to let you know <laughs> if you see me take off because, oh yeah. Um, even like I have, uh, so that I'm in, an, in like a, the little office thing. The office, it's like a second bedroom, but it's it's really small. And then this room right here is my bedroom and like I'm on the second floor. So below is like the kitchen and then below that is the living room. So my bedroom and the living room had used to have like a uh, chimney and a fireplace. And now, I mean, the fireplace is still there in the bedroom and, and downstairs, but it's, it's just like decorative. It doesn't, it's all like boarded up, but I can hear like this really loud, like whistling sometimes through it. Cause I haven't lived in this house very long. So yeah, it's <laughs> Miss G is like every, every, whenever she hears it, she's like, what's going on? But how is everyone doing? How are we doing without the L word? It's so sad, isn't it? Like every Thursday I get so like, I don't know. I just feel like oh, I used to get so excited whenever, you know, it was getting to Friday and like getting up early. And yeah, so now I don't know. It's like, it's like when you, you find out Santa isn't real. <laughs> now word's finished. But uh, okay, so the updates or I have been I mean, stalking is, is, is heavy. I have been persistent with, with Showtime. And I mean, <clears throat> when there's not updates, like obviously I'm not going to say anything, but don't ever think that I'm not like constantly, constantly on them. And I mean, I, probably like every few days, um, cause, cause now like a, a lot of the people there, I have like a friendly relationship with. So it's not like, a, a, you know, out of the norm for me to just be like in an email where we're talking about something else to be like, oh, hey, have you heard anything about season three? And they, <clears throat> I'll just say exactly what, what they said. This is the last, the last email that was Thursday. still haven't heard anything about season three and we're not sure when they're planning to make the final decision and they were like go oh, but the waiting is you know um because it's up to their their head of head of tv programming and they have consistently said to me that it is it is due to covid like this late um renewal or whatever you want to call it because normally they would have done it by by the end of the season and the the reason that like I really I, I'm still not wavering in my confidence I still am really confident there's going to be a season three just based on discussions that that I've had with them about how happy they were with the streaming and a lot of the social media sort of noise and uh, lots of people, even like them, they're looking at, I've, I've even shared my YouTube numbers with them. And I, I actually have something to send them that um, it's like, cause I've, I shared them throughout the season and every month I'd be like, Hey, like these are, these are my views. And you know, the, the last month, it was insane. And the clip views and things like that as well, not just from me, but from, from other channels. And yes, of course, like some of those are people in other countries and all that stuff, but 
they were they were pretty happy with with what was going on so i think it's probably just down to the really like finite things of maybe they're going to give them more you know because when a show's going in i know i keep cutting myself off when a show's going in to a third season it's it's a very si- different situation than with like a first one because they're a lot more restrictive with budgets and things and I can't remember whether I talked about this last time or not but I over the past few weeks I have found out that when they did the first season they pretty much were told this is going to be at least a two season thing so especially you know they released the information about getting a second season when Laura was on the show capitalizing on all that press that they were getting but they already they knew like when they were doing the first season basically that that they already had a second so I still um, am really confident that there is going to be a third and I think it's just down to them probably working out like literally budget stuff and and when the show would slot into it coming back so I don't I don't think that there's really anything crazy to to worry about of course like I'd love to just have the news to like you know that that we know for sure for sure and hopefully hopefully we'll have it soon I mean I'd be really really surprised if if we didn't have it by like Thanksgiving Christmas time that would be really weird I saw some people saying about January I did ask them about that and they said no they think that's just come from like a rumor a rumor mill or something can't see the bottom comments yeah Le- see Lisa uh said Showtime City on a Hill did not get their renewal for over a month and they got season two so I'm not worried yeah they literally anytime I've asked them and I asked started asking them this like before the finale had even been on I was asking them like is it weird that it's so late in the season and they were like, we literally have changed the way we do things because of COVID and everything. Like it's the, whatever way that they they go through these things, um, it's just just change change the way they do they do everything. So yeah, I'm I'm super so super confident. And oh, I was gonna say something else, now it's gone out of my head. I just think there's, you know, like there's a, there's a lot of other things that, that go into it. Like Marja has that deal and then they also, they've, they've put a lot into this show and they don't really have another show like it. And then, yeah, I just, I just think there's so much more to go um, with it. I, I did uh, specifically ask about the thing that Vanessa Williams posted and I like sent a little message to like the person that I talked to the most at Showtime and I was like oh um is this like a subtle way of confirming and then they were like not unless <laughs> she knows something that I don't so yeah they um they and uh, some other people said to me like oh well do you think Showtime's being truthful and all that stuff and yeah I'm I'm completely confident that they're truthful because there's been other situations where they've said things and like you know even like screeners and stuff that they've given me like why would I think they'd at least if, if it was anything they'd say to me oh we can't say anything yet like I think that's the way they would go instead of saying oh no we don't know like I think they just say they couldn't tell me so um yeah I'm excited for uh Dexter to start because I'm gonna cover that show too so I'm also doing the morning show and station 19 and Grey's if anybody watches those 
if you don't watch the morning show, it's really good. And Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are in it. And Reese Witherspoon is in a relationship with Juliana Margulies from The Good Wife. If you're looking for a new show to watch. (laughs) Yeah, like Lynn said, so many cliffhangers. Yeah, I feel uh, I feel like like this. Oh my god! Like forever, they Showtime would never hear the end of it. Also, like when uh, I've spoken about this before, but when shows, um, it, it's very rare that a show is cancelled at the second, third ish season because there's just so much less they can do with it. Like uh, I I know Showtime, it's different with like syndication and stuff, but even packaging to other countries and packaging to streaming and all those things because you know don't forget like when the original show was on they they sold off the l word and remember when it was on netflix for ages (laughs) but they um all that will will go into it as well because the l word isn't some like you know like the morning show like that I think like Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon and Steve Carell's probably like fees for for that show costs as much as like the entire L word makes (laughs) uses to make it's like it's that show's crazy expensive to do and yeah like the L word is expensive like they have all those nice but the other the, let's get on to the the that's like the real me this is exactly what showtime has said to me you guys know as long as i can tell you like i'm i will always be honest about it this other stuff is all <laughs> rumor and speculation is is what i've been told for the rest of the situation and that is several people that all work behind the scenes have told me that they have put February on the table as when they're going to go back to everything because they have to go back to write first and then if they're going back to filming and stuff but it also I mean there's there's like multiple people who've told me stuff because there's some people who who it doesn't seem as though they're gonna be involved with the show anymore because I was speaking to someone who I don't want to it'll be like obvious if I say who it is but it was someone with like that was involved with with someone's like household and they were saying that that there's some writers that that aren't coming back like even if the show was renewed tomorrow that um they're just moving on uh from the show or like they have other other deals and then you guys know um Sandra that was the cinematographer this this past season a lot of the people that worked like behind the scenes they're like part of Sandra's team I'm not sure exactly how how it works like whether they always go and work on whatever project she's working on but right when they finished the L word they then worked on this other show that was for Netflix and they finished that I think about two or three weeks ago and then last week I think it's about day eight or nine now they started working on this other show that they're filming. I think it's in Arizona. So it would line from her. People didn't tell me February. These other people did. But if you were to say they're going back in February, that would line up with the Sandra's unit being finished on this new show. So because I've heard February from multiple people and yeah the the first couple of people who said it that it was very just like like it wasn't like oh don't say it so don't say anything so I don't know um whether they've always been working on this assumption or whether it's gonna 
change anything because the renewal hasn't happened yet or it's a little bit later but they've already started I mean I think Kate even talked about this that they've already started with very like you know wide storylines for next season and and where they're gonna go um so I think right now they're probably doing a lot of um checking out what we're what we're saying online and things for what worked and what didn't I'm just reading what you guys said. Yeah, Catherine is expensive because of JB's outfits. Oh, you haven't watched the morning show, Dexter Station 19. The all the morning show is is probably a good one to start because it's only the second season right now, and there's there's only I think ten episodes each season, and you could watch basically the morning show in like a few days and be caught up to watch it like the next four episodes live with us. And, and Reese Witherspoon and Juliana Margulies are, are playing like a um, same sex couple. So that like, obviously that is something that I think most people who watch my channel would, would like. Um, I'm doing succession too. I know Lynn and Lisa have been have been watching it and it it's there's nothing gay about it. Like it's aggressively heterosexual, but it's such a good show. It's and for anyone who does watch it and they want to know what my working life is like, um, I am basically cousin Greg in my family. Um Station 19 is is really good too. You don't necessarily, I, I think you could basically, if you're just interested in Karina and Maya, you could kind of just start watching like when they meet. Um, maybe do like a couple of YouTube videos of like the other storylines. And Dexter is an amazing show there's a lot of seasons there's eight um the last two seasons aren't aren't really that great but if you probably started watching it now you could probably get it all watched before it starts on the 7th of november so i'm super pumped to watch it on the when it comes out and maybe be doing a little something with my little Showtime friends. Catherine timeline of background maybe needed to develop. Yeah, I mean, I have volunteered myself as the, the keeper of the L word timeline. I, I, I really, ha like, that's the thing. And I don't know whether you guys have had a chance to watch my YouTube bestie, Evelyn, she did a video that I think came out today or last night, you know, with my time. And she was talking about like basically her opinion on like season two. It was a really good video. And she was talking about like the pacing and, and the time and stuff like that. And as I said in my own video about what, uh, season two got right and wrong I mean I think I was pr for all the people who tell me I'm not critical enough I think I was pretty fair in in that video and you know I always say like I it, no I don't like every single decision that they make or every storyline or every character but there's enough people complaining on the internet so I think that there's certain things they could do to tighten everything up, like making the timeline kind of consistent. You know, I I would prefer if uh, Evelyn said this in her video that they focus more on quality rather than quantity, because characters like Pippa, like she could be a really awesome character, but we don't know anything about her outside of. Bet and like that 
I think they just threw that line in about her having a son so that she could tick that checkbox on bets, you know, criteria. But you have someone like Vanessa Williams, who it seems as though she would really like to come back to the show too. So now that we have, you know, characters like Vanessa Williams and then Mary Bell's kind of been bumped up, like use these characters that you already have to give us like Finley's backstory, all these people that we're dying to know more about them. Even, even the OGs, like I still want to know like about even Alice, Bet and Shane meeting. And I wish that they would have used Alice's book to fill in some of the blanks that we have when it comes to one, what happened on the original because they were so short with like, you know, characters like Tina don't even have a backstory. And then also in that time between the original show and Gen Q and the book could have, could have filled some of that in. So that's what I was hoping the book was going to do, but yeah. And, and I think that's something I consistently, I mean, like, this is the other thing I, my channels, like, yeah, there's a few people now that come for like station 19 or something, but the great, great majority. And there was, there's been over a million people this season throughout the L word, not views, million people that have come through my channel. And those people that come and say, you know, things I would never think in a million years. And that's why it's so interesting to get all these perspectives and opinions. And that's like why I love it. And I think that especially people that come to my channel a lot and like, you know, talk to everyone and put their comments and then comment on other people's that we have a real like wide array of of thoughts and opinions on the L word and you should totally utilize that and and nearly everybody consistently says they want more backstory they want the characters that they really enjoy being fleshed out and then you know like there's always the comments about the timeline and things like that but the backstory is like the thing I see consistently the most and having those characters be like the in the original show, be really good friends. Cause I still think that is one of the key things that's like missing from Gen Q is that friendship angle and like maybe it was all of them being literally like in Canada together living together and maybe you'll never exactly be able to reproduce that but I think it's there for Jennifer Kate and Leisha so now that you have like all these new characters integrate them more because like Danny and Micah are supposed to be best friends and it's like I don't get that vibe from them anymore, especially some of the stuff that like went down the season, like Danny was on her own. Yeah, Lisa said, um, that it, it's, uh, yeah, it's like no matter what, you still love the show and you know, at the last weekend, last Sunday, um, Evelyn and I were on the phone for like four hours talking about about um, the show. Literally just like the whole time we we're talking about the show and like what we would have done and, you know, crazy stuff. And Evelyn was saying like the one thing about this season, it was really entertaining. And that doesn't mean that a show's good or bad. It means that it's entertaining. And this and the season way was more entertaining than season one. I know, I mean, oh, let's do a poll. Le yeah, let's do a poll. Because 
for any i i think a, um a couple of people uh joined there so just while i'm setting up the poll i was just going to say that um what i said at the top of the hour was that their um showtime still haven't made a decision that's what they told me on thursday and there is rumors that the show's going back to film in february Okay. I just did a poll saying which is you prefer and then and then yeah, I'm live right now. <laughs> the person who has Dave on, yeah. Um Just reading what you guys said. Oh, I'm blurred. Sorry. It should pick up again. I literally uh, complained to my... that it's, it's really windy outside. So sometimes that like... The island I live on is literally like this is England, this is Ar or this is Ireland, this is England, and it's like right in the middle of the Irish Sea. It's like the windiest place in the world. So sometimes when the weather's really bad, it makes it crap. Yeah, uh, uh, Simona said uh, they really need to bring back more people from the original L word. I have not got the full story yet and I will get the full story, but apparently the Helena thing was supposed to happen and the, like, that's why it was, it was put on IMDb, which is where, like, everybody got the information from and apparently when it was pulled, it was right around the time that Rachel stopped producing pants. So there's like a some information missing from that. So I don't know wh like what the reasoning was, but um, I'm gonna find out. But all of that to say, uh, I really, like, I, I, I think it, I mean, if you got, again, like, I know I say this all the time now, but <laughs> tough. <laughs> when I talked to Marja and it's in, it's in the, the thing, the bit I posted where she was saying about how, you know, she, like, she was a big fan of the show too. And, and anytime I've spoken to her, I always do get that feeling that I'm talking to like an, another fan, like another person who loves the show. So she was saying that they love having, you know, um, old, old people from the, the show on and stuff like that. And that she's always open to, to bring more people back. So I definitely hope that again, now that they're in, they're going to, going to be in the third season they've the show the show is a bit more like they back her a bit more like it was it, there was the same thing with with the original show like the network's a lot more involved and a lot more like putting their input in when a show's early and especially as like this is her first showrunner role so hopefully now that they're they're going to take a step back and they'll be able to bring in whoever they want I mean I would love I think one of the people that 
everybody unanimously says they'd love to have back is one Helena, of course, and Tasha, because I really thought Alice's book was a, because if they couldn't get Rose that season, I thought they'd want to at least be like, some why why did Alice and Tasha like what happened there and I thought the book was gonna was gonna clear some of that up so <laughs> that's what Evelyn said next to me but she said about the renewal too uh... Yeah, and that is a good point, like, about, I'm sure they would have had a lot more going on, but they, I mean, like Marsha said in the, in the interview again, like, they could only have so many people because of what was going on, and I mean, when, when they started filming, like, it was really, like, in the, in the, things were so bad, so I'm hoping season three, they'll be like, oh, we need to, to get even more people on because we are so limited in season two. So I hope that that's going to be the case. And yeah, how awesome. Peggy Peabody's on the morning show. If that's not another reason to watch the morning show. And so is, um, is it Janina, Jimmy? Jimmy, um, I can I can't remember her last name. Uh, the woman who played Poppy is on is on the morning show. Oh yeah, Rosanna said it. Yeah, she's Holland Taylor's on on the morning show. Yeah, she's awesome. And I mean, I, I see a couple of people saying Tina backstory, but it's like, I, I don't think that that will happen because Laura Holloman or, can only dedicate so much time. And I would way prefer to see her actually like incorporated the way she was at the end of the season, like that we have scenes with all the ogs like i would have loved if they did that earlier in the season too because i think having like episode nine some people were really really harsh about it but i really liked episode nine and that was because of everybody like being together and stuff like i think that episode and episode six had like the most I don't know, feel of the original. Oh, thank you, Kaya, Janina Garvanka. Yeah, um, someone's, uh, what's it? Brittany said about Sarah Shahi. I I think that they're just, I mean, I've spoken to a couple of people about that and it just seems like it is no, because Chris and Jess like really love Carmen. So they're always, always saying about bringing her back. I, I really like her too. And it's just, it's such a brick wall anytime I bring it up. And I also think that now, even if, even if they threw everything out the window and they said, okay, come back. I don't think Sarah could now, like, yeah, she wanted to before, but it would have to be, I mean, maybe they could really tightly work her in, but she is, I'm sure that sex life thing is, is getting another season because it's so popular. And then she's in the Black Adam movie, which is going to be, I mean, she's, she's pretty big now. Like, all my straight friends now are like, oh, Ashley's L word woman is in, is in this because they all watch that sex life. But I think that once Black Adam comes out, she's she's going to be a super, be even more of a superstar. Kyle 
Kaya-san, I also kind of hate how they leave important scenes out like Tina telling Angie she's getting married or Angie's reaction to Marcus's death or background info on Shane and her dog, Pippa's son, etc. Yeah, I, I can't remember what it was that happened that we didn't get to see, but there was something that I was really... I, I didn't like how, as well, they wouldn't show... And then they would jump it's it's with the timeline again it's like there's so many un there's so many things that that I was always like why are you why are you show showing this and using this time um okay I'm gonna close the poll and do another one because What was the second question I was going to do? Come on. For anyone who didn't see my Instagram, I brought Miss G her own heater today. <laughs> And it's just this like little one and she's just been sitting downstairs in like literally a pile of blankets with the heater just pointed at her like sleeping. And I kept sending my sister all these pictures of her and then my sister's like, I'm so jealous of that cat's life. <laughs> so I can hear, I don't know, it must be the wind outside, I can hear something. What was the other question I was gonna do? Oh, I think. Oh, it's G eating the biscuits. Okay. Whoa, tons of people preferred season two. Oh, am I getting stuck? I have a few questions I want to ask you. Oh, since, since all my favorite people are here, <laughs> seems like a, a great um, uh, this is, yeah, this is the I think that um, it could be it could be the weather. It could be the internet. It could be that there's tons of people on on YouTube. But let me see. Um. Hi, Aline. Sorry if I'm uh, a messy blur. Tell me if the, I guess, if, if I sound bad is, is like the worst case. Because frozen. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna give it one minute and then if not, um, I probably have to restart the stream. Let me try. Thank you. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, is this better? Let me know if this is better because I like plugged into the um, the internet. That's the word I'm looking for. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Okay, not as not as um, visually pleasing with um, but we're in my living room. Gee. No, thank you. Oh, sorry, one sec. Otherwise, Jean is going to be thieving. So, 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 so. Sorry about that, guys. Um, just really, really sad. Did I finish the? <laughs> oh good this should be this should be a, a lot better so lo siento for my issues mm. oh yes we're a lot clearer now 
Jay, you gonna come say hi? Front up your pocket of all glory. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't think I got the poll question up. There was too many, too many things going on in my brain. Um, oh, why did it send? This is in an ideal world where Maria is sniffing the microphone. <laughs> so A that does not belong to you. I just put put up a, a version of the poll that's just um, which OG to return. I have some some other questions that I want to. The oh, this is what I was going to say. So, would you? I know that like most most of the people who who come to my lives are like one the best people, but the people that like comment and and who come to most of my stuff and will watch my stuff and I like appreciate that more more than you know and I am thinking about doing something that would be like I can't do flashback Friday because there's too many shows that come out on, for too many videos that come out on Friday already but it would be something like that where I would do like review reaction to like a regular video about older content like it would, it would I would only do it for like lesbian or bi couples but it would be say Arizona and Cali, Alex and Piper, people like that the I mean, obviously I'm not going to do every single episode, but episodes that were like big Cali and Arizona ones. <gasps> I think my phone's here. One sec. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Um, sorry, my road is like one little lane, and people are always like confused. Yeah, no ghosts. I mean, I guess they would have to do like identical twin or something. I'm just reading what you guys said. Out of those choices, it, I can't, I mean, I, I like them all, obviously, but um, Helena or Tasha would probably be, probably be my choice. Nobody picked Jenny. <laughs> Uh, Catherine, I have some, um, I have some Danny and Gigi merch that's going to come out soon. Probably, probably in like a week or like 10 days. I think my face is shiny. Uh, 
Oh, the other thing the you know, I, I was thinking about doing like Cali in Arizona, um, Alex and Piper. There's even people like Willow and Tara that you could talk about how it was important then because there was like no representation. So I think that stuff, you know, ones like that. And I would do, like I said, like the big episodes. I'm not going to do one where they've got like five minutes of screen time. And it would be in addition to my... Because because the reason that I say like, oh, um, Callie and Arizona and Alison Piper is because there isn't really anyone who did that then. Like there's not tons of there's still not tons of people who do like reactions to like lesbian stuff. Um, and I think it would be, it would be cool to do, to talk about. And then there could be some people like if some of you guys haven't watched that show, like you can get involved then. And the only, and the only thing that puts me off is like, because maybe people like don't want to go back and watch like the old stuff but then if you've already seen it you can still watch my video and I'll play like clips and things and there was getting weird like noise there was a um this woman that I follow she's she's a therapist and she did like a a Cali in Arizona one and and she's she's not gay or anything but she did it from a therapy angle and she did their episode where they go to the therapist and they they split up and it got crazy good views i mean like she's got way more subscribers than me but yeah and they that that's i see you guys talking about it too they always do i mean everybody lives in hope that that they bring Cali and Arizona back to like say that they have their because they set it up like Arizona was going to go to New York and I mean in a lot of our heads I guess we think that they got back together because I can't believe that they wrote Jessica Capshaw out of that show to begin with it infuriates me but Yeah, Beth, that's what I'm trying to find out about the, what I get told about the Rachel stuff, it's like there's something missing from the story and I don't know. Hey, Eva. So you guys think I'm just trying to quickly read what you said. So yeah, so the the Cali and Arizona whatever thing would be in a, in addition because I really am trying to to keep the kind of momentum of the channel going. I know that it'll never be as as you know going as it as it is when the show's on, but I'm doing succession on Mondays. Dexter will be on Mondays because it airs Sundays too, and it's coming in two weeks, and then. I don't really have anything Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Station 19, Grey's, and The Morning Show are all Thursday shows, so they'll be on Friday. Um, so I would do, I don't know, something on a Wednesday maybe? Oh, good, Brittany. Because I, I do Station 19 already. Um, it's just, it. oh, and it's off for the next three weeks. So my, I have, I do, I have a lot of shows now. 
Oh, I have tried so hard to get an interview with Seppi and Ari. I have tried, but <laughs> yeah, they, um, I thought I was going to have, um, I don't know, may maybe I'll be able to get them for season three because I am definitely planning on going to LA when they're when they're filming. Bye Helen. So what I'm hoping is to go to LA when they're filming and do a live recording at, at the real Dana's. And yeah, it'd be cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Gen Q is starting here in like a week. I think I remember when season one I did I mean I, my channel was my channel's tiny now, but it was teeny teeny tiny when season one came out. And um that's the dream, Beth. That's the dream. <laughs> That's the dream. I mean, I'm pretty. I, I'm, I will talk my way into anything, and I am. Um, yeah, I would. I would love to. It'd be. It, it'd be fun to just even go once and do. You know, like they did that thing with um, Jack this season where she had that like behind the scenes day. That would be fun. But and and or honestly too, Showtime has been has been awesome to me this season. Like I have never seen I'm sure like networks work with people all the time and, and pay them money and stuff, but they have been have been so kind to me and and like again, 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 again. I have never seen a showrunner of a television show go on a tiny youtubers channel so and then sh like any anything of our show time this season they've been like you know telling me and 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 hugging us up with screeners and all that stuff like they're super awesome uh no the competition's still running until one more week the 1st of November is when I'm announcing the winners. So you can still enter on the trailer breakdowns is for the, is for the merch. So all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment on any of the trailer breakdowns. You can enter 10 times if you comment in all 10. And then if you want to win the sign Jennifer Beals pick, you can, uh, must be a subscriber and comment on any of my episode reviews. Yeah, I, I mean, the you know, there's people out there who who don't like Marjo, don't like me, or whatever. But I just don't know how anyone can be like it, it wasn't awesome that that she came on the channel like. And then to to post everything too, like the I, I I just think that there was like whenever I was doing the interview too, the I basically sent her because I've told you guys like we message before, and two probably like two weeks before I announced on a live that she was gonna do it. I basically like said to her like, oh, I, I know you're super busy, but if you ever had time, like even just for a few minutes and like straight away, she was like, you know, tell me your contact info. Cause we spoke over Instagram all the time. And she's like, give me your contact info and we'll set it up, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, is there anything I, I can't ask her? And nothing. So she was, um, she was super awesome to me.
Yeah. And, and so I, this week when I posted, I posted my video about what's right and wrong with, about Gen Q. And again, I think I was pretty fair in those, in that video, you know, there's, and I, as I said at the start of this, like it is difficult no matter no matter what like you look at any show like I've started watching that show why the last man the um the hot priest is in and there's people on that reddit complaining about the writing oh hey I see hey Robin um and there's people complaining about writing here and there and everywhere and it's it's just like you're always gonna there's always going to be people criticizing and there's always going to be people praising and there's always going to be people in the middle and there's always going to be, you know, I could think that episode nine was great and I loved that Tina was there talking to the group and all that stuff, but, and, and on drinks at Dana's, you know, we, we said, we, we thought this was a great episode and there's another L Word podcast who absolutely hated the episode and trashed it. So it, it, it's, you know, you're never going to be able to please everyone. And that's why the person that you need to please is yourself because no one else is going to do it. And I mean, it's, they're doing exactly what they want to do and tell the stories they want to tell and they're hoping that the audience can be along with them for the ride as much as possible because if they went and and did all these things that that people say they want it's like well then other people are going to be unhappy and so they're just going to be constantly like doing things that don't work and and doing things they don't even believe in and I I just I uh, I know that what I'm saying is on is on like a really small 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 scale compared compared to even the L word, but if you're taking all of this in and taking it like too much to to heart, then you're never going to get anything done because you're just going to be constantly thinking about well, what this person think, what will that person think, and I think that you need so like there's a really good phrase um that's never take criticism from someone you wouldn't take never take criticism from someone you wouldn't take um advice from and I think that that's true especially with when you're looking at whether you're running a youtube channel or a show and it's even like that that la times thing like i i think that that person who wrote that was was way way too harsh and completely wrong and those people who i've spoken to in the l word community who absolutely like really don't like the show and even said to me whoa that article was really harsh and when people are so bitter or whatever it is about that that I just I think that there's something behind it and in that case I thought it was the person wanted clicks and views and attention and they went about it and like, do you, would you want to be known for whatever, for shitting on someone else's work? And it's like all these people who say all these things about, you know, I don't know, somebody say someone goes on, on someone's YouTube channel. Like there's a lot of new people talking about the L word this season. And someone was asking me like, oh, like joking and they're like oh how do you feel about having the competition and I'm like I love it I love that there's more people 
talking about the L word because that is better for everyone because there's more opinions out there. There's more places that people can go and see thoughts and everything. And it helps everyone else out because it helps the uh, like the L word algorithm. But if that means that if somebody doesn't like me, then there's options for them or there's an option out there for someone who's older or someone who is from a different country or nationality or whatever. And I just, I, I think that the, the more people out there doing it, the better, but you do also have to, I, I think you, you really have to accept some things before you do like start doing this, putting your real face and your real name online talking about this and kind of accept that there's there's going to be people who who don't like what you say or whatever so oh um I see someone asked said about the morning show I I do the morning show on on the channel so I do like reviews and stuff so if you want to check out any of my videos on that just click on the little um morning show playlist yeah kaya that's really true kaya said as a matter of fact everyone is entitled to have their opinion the problem is that people try to convince others of their opinion and that's not fair yeah there's a a lot of people that do that Oh, Eileen said, do you know anything about JB and Eileen Chaikin's involvement with the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo? Is that still a go? You know what? Yeah, it is. I read something um, a while ago, Freeform, that's who was doing it. But then I read something not that long ago that they they were trying to, it was like when they were trying to cast or something. I think it's just been on the back burner because of COVID, but it still is, it still is a go, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know Sapphic Underground, but I've watched some of her videos. She seems cool. So um, you guys know that Evelyn is like my bestie. And then I also am f- um, friends now with Alex Shillington, who does, she does uh, mostly like short reaction videos. She's really nice too. She's She helped me a bunch with... Um, like when when you have a youtube channel you have this like analytic thing and it it tells you crazy shit about all of you guys (laughs) and like watching and oh um catherine thank you so much for the super sticker it just flashed up i don't know why i did before thank you so much super sweet and amy thank you so much for the super sticker you guys are the best. Thank you. Oh, bye, Kaya. Yeah. Um, Avon said our community should uplift each other and we should be first proud to be with the L word. Yeah, it's um, it's true because that's what I don't understand either. Like there's, we're supposed to be better. Like, queer women and I I know that there are there are obviously like straight women who are into the L word like I have loads of straight friends that watch it and um but even just as women like are we better shouldn't we all be supporting each other and it's just I don't know Jane what you doing are you gonna say hi to the guys Come here. Come here. Shane, hi. 
to Shanghai? They're up here. Hi everyone. Can you, I told them all about your keto that you got today. Hmm? Not impressed. You want to sit there? <laughs> She's like, turn the heater back on. Yeah, Avalon's the best. Oh, um, see what I saw you ask about drinks at Dana's. So this is this is the um the plan. Jess has been in Egypt, so we've been waiting for her to get back. She she literally she texted me like this afternoon saying she was getting on the plane. Um so we have a wrap-up episode that we're going to do that's going to be like what we thought as a season as a whole, you know, what we thought worked didn't. So we'll probably do that next weekend and then I'll edit it quickly. And um, so it should be up uh, a week on Monday, like, or maybe Sunday, a week on, a week tomorrow. And then we do have, another episode hopefully in the work a special episode with a special guest so they haven't confirmed conf they've like conf half confirmed so yeah hopefully we'll have those two more episodes I have trying to I've been trying to talk Jess and uh Chris into into doing um the OG show <laughs> but they basically told me no and <laughs> they said they might agree to do the first season of Generation Q oh yeah we should do another another Elcon now the season's over to um talk about everything that would be good yeah, I'll talk to the guys about it. Yeah, I mean, am I sad the show is over for the season? Yes. Um, I I do love all these other shows that I'm talking about, but the L word is just like extra special, you know? So. I mean, I, I don't think there's there's anything that I would cover quite like a cover the L word. Like I I can't imagine like covering the filming and stuff like that. Like maybe big things, but um, the second that's you know when they go back to filming and all that stuff, I will do what I did last year and like you know share pictures and do like update videos and guest stars and things like that so um don't worry about that but I last year I, I think it was because as well like the world was a mess and nothing was filming that I I didn't really do too much between the seat like I I did still put out videos and stuff but I didn't do any other shows and I Re, re I reviewed the entire original L word so that like filled in a lot of time too but now I want to do these other shows and try and grow the channel a bit that way um so all the ones I mentioned Gray's Station 19 The Morning Show Dexter Succession I'll be doing them oh the poll yeah um but I, I do, I'm going to try out doing the flashback, whatever, or rewind ones and see how they do. But if anybody else has 
suggestions or thoughts, please, please, please let me know. Amy, it's so funny you sent that little raccoon because raccoons are like my favorite, favorite animal. I love raccoons. I want a pet raccoon, but my cousin who's a vet tells me no. Okay. One more. okay so i asked you guys what show should i start for rewind Miss G, Miss G would love a baby raccoon. Miss G used to have a best friend that was a bunny. Um, I'm going to find the picture and I'll, I'll share it on my Instagram story so that you can see. Um, they were the cutest. Like G was a tiny baby and this was like a little bunny. And the, the they were friends. And G used to like, you know, play fight with the bunny and stuff and the bunny used to hump her. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's really tiny, so I haven't watched the Australian Bachelorette, but I, I heard about because Chris told me that the um they were by. Oh Tash good. I'm so glad you know what? Um Obviously, I love attention. I wouldn't be on YouTube if I didn't love attention. And I do, I mean, it's, it, it is really great when the season was on and it was, there were so many people in the live, but also like comments and stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like that is awesome. But I have found the last two weeks, like being able to reply to all the comments again. And then like, this is totally manageable at the moment, this chat, like there is something to be said for being, you know, like, cause when you're smaller, it's the people who, yeah, you're really loyal people who are here right now, which I know all of you are. So it's like, I can interact more. Like, I can't imagine what it must be like to be one of those, you know, those YouTubers who have, like, I don't know, even, like, 100,000 subscribers. Like, that must be insane. Yes, Eileen, I'm going to do... Um... Oh, that's so cute. Eileen said, are you going to do the Advent thing again? I watched every day on my way to work from on my way home from work best part of the day what do you think content will be oh that's so sweet thanks that's the sort of thing that i hope for um i'm definitely doing it this year the, the christmas one um i think this year i'm gonna do it though and call it something like more because last year I, I think i called it L, the l word advent calendar christmas special and so this year I would do something like the lesbian Christmas calendar or something like that so that I can do the L word and station 19 and you know like not not make it just one show but so because last season I was a bit like oh my god I need to think of another video to do because last season I did still have 
uh, I think it was on season five then. And I, I still had some episodes that I could do. So I think that um, I'll definitely be doing um, some fun ones, you know. Old Station like the the begin like this because I've only just started doing doing the review, so it would be like episodes from when they met, and like but not episodes where they're you know they're only in like one scene, like bigger episodes for them. I don't watch Gentleman uh, Gentleman Jack. I don't really like period things. Like I don't know, maybe I'll get into it. Oh, yeah, dog's called Zoe. My sister's dog is called Zoe, Beth. Straight women playing gay roles. Mm. That could be interesting to do. Yeah, I've heard about uh, New Amsterdam that there's a there's a same sex couple on there, but someone told me that they're only in like I don't know, like a couple of seconds of the show or a couple of minutes of the show, like really, really few time in it. Uh, Kinky, thank you so much for the super sticker. I want to see what animal it is. Oh, what is this doing? Oh, it's a cute little... Lay it a heart. Okay, so anyone, I, I'm starting to see um, some season three uh, questions. So anyone who wasn't here at the start, um, I'm still speaking to Showtime, still asking them to keep me updated on, on everything. They, they said they will. Um, there's still no word about season three and Showtime told me it is because of the pandemic and the way that they do things now has completely changed. So it's not unusual that they haven't renewed it. I too just think that if they were going to, to cancel it, they would have just canceled it. So I think they're just working things out. I did hear rumors that they're going back to work in February. So that would make sense because that would put them on a similar timeline to what they were on for season two. Don't forget, if you want some beautiful merch, <laughs> you know where to go. I am going to have some um, Gigi and Downey stuff soon. Yes, um, Alice, I did hear about... Do you know, actually, uh, I was in a, a movie with um, Alec Baldwin and with Stephen Baldwin a um, long time ago. But yeah, I did see that. And I saw one of the... Um, I can't remember what like what exactly she did, but she was someone who worked on the set of Gen Q and she posted this thing that was saying that the set from for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Alec Baldwin, the situation on the set of Rust where the the gun fired, the prop gun. Oh, probably gonna get um <laughs> demonetized for saying that. 
But apparently the like all of the the union people who were working on the set had written this letter the day before this incident saying that the set was unsafe and loads of them walked off set and then they had to um hire all these non-union people to to work on the set so apparently that that's what people um, were saying happened and that's why it all just turning Miss G's heater on for that's why the item discharged it's on I haven't watched the juice yet but I have that on my list Oh, bye, Lynn. Yeah, um, Lisa just said it that too, but keep keep making noise on on social media. Keep saying things because they they are still still watching, and the you know it can't it can't hurt my goodness g what did you just eat your belly is so full <laughs> um so yeah keep keep making noise and keep saying we need that season three but i will probably uh end for the evening i have a not baby shower baby shower <laughs> tomorrow morning and it's pretty early it's at nine i think um my friend from high school is having twins and she already has a three-year-old so and she's her husband is a farmer so their house is like pretty busy g g g stop that i'm just gonna push the computer over okay well g stop that Just trying to steal the pen that's attached to the notebook. Yeah, you can you can all still enter um, both of the competitions until the end of the month. So if you want to win merch, just comment on any of my trailer breakdowns. And to win any uh, to win the sign Jennifer Beals thing, comment on my episode reviews. You do have to be a subscriber to win though. And if you want to just check out my my merch, like the beautiful Bentino water bottle, I have shirts and hoodies and everything um, with this on it. And also I've got the cast lists, Generation Q and the OG. And then soon there'll be some uh, Gigi and Danny. But... As always, you guys, I absolutely just love our lives and sitting, chatting and everything. Oh, Alice, you're a twin. And thank you so much for coming. I will be doing them on Saturdays. I'm still, as long as you guys still come, I'll still be doing them. And also, if you ever want to check out my Patreon, um, it's more like I do um, vlog stuff over there and it's a lot like smaller but we talk more and we're doing watch parties and stuff like that too and any gee (laughs) any um, things like VIP stuff where when I got tickets to the premiere it's my patrons that I invite so let me know if you ever want to check that out. There's a link in the description box. And anything that I ever talk about, social media, all that is always linked in the description box. So Miss G and I are going to have a good night. And 
Make sure you've checked out all my latest videos, all my new shows. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And yeah, I'll have a lot more content coming soon. Oh, the merch is just, uh, if you click open the video, there's a, there's a link in the, in the description box. And yeah, there's lots, lots and lots of content on my channel. If you want to go watch something now and I love you guys. You're the absolute best. Thank you to everyone who came and thank you to everyone who watched this on replay. Miss G and I love you very much and have a great night. Be safe, take care of yourselves, drink lots of water and give your pets lots of cuddles. And I love you and I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week. See you next Saturday. Bye guys.